Montenegro. Now, I first learned of Montenegro because I have some family that lives in Norway that had a summer house in Montenegro, but I'd never actually been there. We went there first as part of the cruise that we did. It's like on a mountainside that touches the ocean. And, you know, just before the mountain spilled into the ocean, it leveled off a little bit. The entrance to Montenegro is through a, a, a channel or a canal of sorts. It was so cool going in there so cool. with the uh, elevated perspective of being on the cruise ship. And it was kind of like the treasure at the end of the canal in the middle of nowhere. And we were in Kotar, so it's like um, mainly just ruins up on the mountain but on the way in just see the pretty much the whole thing like you're like oh we could go there or there and yeah. that's pretty much it <laughs> so you're like kind of getting the preview um which was a lot of fun we just beelined it the first thing once the boat caught in you go through these big gates then you're pretty much in like the marketplace center mm -hmm. that's been there for who knows hundreds of years probably you're walking through and they're selling like all these local goods and there's little cafes mm -hmm. and there's like Moroccan style things and like Turkish things. And so we kind of tried not to get too distracted by <laughs> any of the shops. You got to just go because you got to go for it because you're going to come back down. So we decided to walk all the way to the top of this fortress, this ruins of a fortress, mm -hmm. I should say. And so we kind of beelined it there. And then we get the privilege to burn off all of the cruise ship calories and we'll walk up this hill. So this is a very steep hike. If there were ever an attack on the city, there was, there was a retreat up to the top, really, where they would have higher ground. You know, there was these switchbacks intentionally there for defense purposes. It was probably easier to defend the territory. And if you weren't prepared uh, for <laughs> running up the side of a mountain trying to attack somebody, you'd probably run out of uh, steam. We did. <laughs> <laughs> we were feeling it. I had been running a little bit at that point, but I was still like, are you serious? Just because you're, you feel like you're taking a step straight up. Right. every single time not to mention you're on the side of a cliff so right. you're like trying to balance very carefully and step very specifically because you're like oh it's kind of dangerous there's some loose rocks and different mm -hmm. things in different areas i would say though it probably had the best a uh, like aerial view of a cruise ship like i've been to a lot of places on on the boat before and to be so high up in elevation next to the cruise ship it's really rare mm -hmm. so this was so cool to be up at the top or maybe you know even halfway up where the church was yeah and you look down and you'd see like the whole you know kind of like harbor area yeah the harbor with the with the, the cruise ship and then you could see absolutely everything in the entire area uh, which is really incredible, spectacular views. The weather was actually really, really warm. I was surprised. Um, I don't think it was normal for it to be so warm around that time, but uh, it was a beautiful hike. And then, of course, we get up to the top and, you know, you realize your legs are already hurting and then you got to walk back down. In the down, you know, the downhill, your legs are shaken because they're just shot, you know. But we explored the ruins and different that rooms. That was fun. There's, there's really no, it's not like a commercialized experience where they have a museum or things like that. There's you no just... plaques saying anything happened. You just wonder like, you know, okay, the church got its roof blown off and, and you're like, oh, I wonder what happened here, you know? Yeah, and and so it was fun, you know, it was fun. You, you could go in these little different rooms and kind of wonder about what the history was there. And we wandered back down and there were so many more people coming up <laughs> than there were mm -hmm. when we went up. Mm -hmm. So I was really glad we went there first because the trail was so narrow at mm -hmm. some point with so many people coming up. We just kept kind of standing to the side. I remember the way down, it was like, okay, move over. Wait, Do you wait, remember wait, wait, wait. When we went okay. through that building and it had the second floor that was like caving in. Yeah. And we're like, uh, OSHA violation. Yeah. Um, we're at the top. <laughs> <laughs> we're at the top. This is what it's like, guys. We're at the top. See, we started from the bottom and now we're here. 
felt like we were walking on the clouds, like up with the clouds. You could mm-hmm. see them in the background, so it was really lovely. I did enjoy that, but I was super sore three days later. Yeah. So you just have to know you when you just plow through, you're like you're doing the Stairmaster 4000 uh, on that one. We we got down, I think it took us like an hour to kind of regulate because we just did so many stairs. I do remember thinking like it was kind of funny. The fact that they started the cruise off with this one <laughs> meant that everyone mm-hmm. that did that hike was like the next couple days they're like, let's just lay by the beach. Right. <laughs> and so right. we saw it as like eliminating competition to yeah. see tourist attractions. But let's be honest, if you're going to go to Montenegro, you're going to fly in to go visit there. What are you signing up for? You're signing up for avoiding everybody else in the world and (laughs) and totally disconnecting from, from life, right? Oh, yeah. I think most people don't even know Montenegro exists. And, you know, they had some other stuff there. There was a little church in the middle of an island in the middle of the bay. Mm-hmm. And you could you could take a boat out to it. It was really pretty. And the, the water wasn't moving, so it was like glass water, you know, in the, in the bay. And just was really quaint. They had some little houses on the water. And we found ourselves at a restaurant, and we were just right on the water. And it was so special. This place, this dinner place was just beautiful. We had the best wine there. And you're sitting and you could literally sit from the table and put your feet in the water. I remember just like, we we went to dinner and just watched the sunset and there's no feeling like that, honestly. So peaceful. being by the water with the green mountains and just the sound of, you know, the boats going by and the little waves created by it and Mm -hmm. really good company. Our friends were there and the food was great and then when we were done eating we went back into like the town area in inside those gates the old town it was really cute like it was definitely an experience you definitely didn't feel like it was as connected to western culture and maybe part of that is to do with that area's like emphasis on tourism so they kind of cater to certain uh kinds of people that want to come have that experience Mm -hmm. but it was still pretty amazing Everyone was super friendly. I would definitely go back and kind of just explore places that are inland a little bit more. And uh, I would love to see what else the country has to offer because if, you know, Kotar is any indication, it's it's gonna be pretty amazing and restful and a, a real unique experience. Hey guys, so uh, if you loved this video as much as I did, please leave a comment and like and subscribe, of course, because you want to see other cool stuff that we do and all the fun places that we're going to be because you want to come with us.